Hello everyone, welcome to our channel IV Legal. In today's video, in continuation to our Indian Evidence Act lecture series, we are going to talk about section 34, 35 and 36 of Indian Evidence Act. In our previous videos, we discussed till section 33 and now section 34, 35, 36 basically deals with statements made under special circumstances. Special circumstances say what does it mean? We will understand section wise and under this chapter ki section 34 kya bolta hai, section 35 kya bolta hai, 36 kya bolta hai. So starting with section 34. Section 34 mein kya hota hai ki there are entries in books of accounts including the entries made in e-records which are relevant. So yahaan par kya hai ki basically jaysay koi bhi business karte hai apan loog, thik hai? General understanding kya hai hai is, is, is section ki ki apan jo bhi business karte hai to jo bhi proprietor hota hai wo apni books of accounts maintain karta hai. Jaysay journal, ledger, और सपोर्टिंग वाउचर्स और उनके बेसिस पे वो एक बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स मेंटेन करता है उन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स को वो यूज कर सकता है एज एन एविडेंस टू रिकवर द मनी व्हिच इज इंडेटेड फ्रॉम एनी एनी पर्सन टू हूम द मनी इज ड्यू फ्रॉम हूम द मनी इज ड्यू तो उनके अगेंस्ट जब उनको पैसा रिकवर करना होता है तो वो अपने डेटर्स से पैसा रिकवर कर सकता है बाय वे ऑफ दीस बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स जो वो रेगुलर कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस में मेंटेन कर रहे हैं so that's how this section is important कि यहाँ पर any entry made in books of accounts which are kept regularly जो भी books of accounts हैं these should be kept regularly and in course of business ठीक है ऐसा नहीं कि आप randomly आज आज entry pass करी फिर उसके बाद आ, मतलब किसी personal purpose से entry pass कर ली आपने फिर उसके बाद एक एक दो महीने तक कोई transaction उसमें record नहीं हुआ उसके बाद फिर आपने कोई personal entry pass कर ली that is not sufficient this section states that Entry must be made in books of accounts, it, it must be made on regular basis and it must be made in course of business. Ki aapke business ke commercial transactions mein uski entry hona chahiye. And now the last is ki that, that entry becomes relevant whenever the whenever they are referred in the case in, uh, in, in when, whenever they are referred in the case uh, in relation to any inquiry. Agar koi bhi inquiry kisi transaction ko leke initiate hoti hai. So, in this case, the entry in books of account becomes relevant. Okay? But again, this entry in books of accounts is merely a corroborative evidence. And alone means merely on the basis of this uh, entry in books of accounts, a person cannot be held liable. There is much corroboration needed along with this. So, this alone is not sufficient to hold a person liable. So, this was a general understanding and this was uh, this uh, what this section talked about. Now, एक एग्जांपल से समझ लेते हैं हम लोग इस सेक्शन को कि सपोज ए को कुछ पैसा लेना है बी से ठीक है और ए बिजनेस करता है सपोज ए बिजनेस करता है आ, मतलब टेक्सटाइल्स का बिजनेस करता है ठीक है अब ए ने कुछ सामान दिया था बी को और ए को बी से पैसा लेना है नाउ इफ बी फेल्स टू मेक द पेमेंट विद इन द प्रिस्क्राइब टाइम पीरियड तो ए जब बी के अगेंस्ट सूट फाइल करेगा फॉर रिकवरी ऑफ हिज मनी तो यहां पर ए कैन यूज द एंट्री इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स मेंटेनड बाय हिम इन रेगुलर in, uh, on regular basis in the course of business stating that the money is due from B for said said transaction XYZ transaction जो भी इसने textiles खरीदे हैं A से तो वो that entry in books of accounts which is maintained by A can be used as an evidence to recover the money from B so that's why that's how the entry in books of account becomes relevant so as to recover the money but again merely on the basis of this entry in books of accounts made by A cannot make the person be liable for payment of money there is much corroborative evidence required to hold be liable for payment of the debts due to a so that was the importance given in this section key entry in books of accounts are relevant and are relevant for the purpose of uh, making a person liable but again these are not alone sufficient there is much other corroborative evidence is required to hold the person liable अब यहाँ पर books of accounts जो term use हुई है कि entries made in books of accounts, books of accounts includes several other things. So and and it excludes uh, it includes certain things and it excludes uh, certain things. So include क्या करता है? It includes journal, ledgers, supporting vouchers. It also includes the original records and books used in recording business transaction. जो भी आप original records and books use करते हैं for recording the transactions, those are also included under the books of accounts. But remember the diary is not admissible as books of accounts which is made to record the transactions on regular course of business 
merely using a diary to record the business transaction is not admissible as a books of account what is admissible is journal ledger supporting vouchers or any other original records those are considered as books of accounts books of accounts yahan par but samajhna isliye zaruri hai because then only when it falls under the correct category of books of accounts then only the entry made in that books of account becomes relevant theek hai tabhi usko hum use kar sakte hain now there was a case in this section 34 which was uh, dharmchand joshi versus satyanarayan bajaj dharmchand joshi versus satyanarayan bajaj now in this case it was held that unbound sheets of paper are not books of accounts and hence cannot be relied upon by the court to make to hold the person liable कुछ शीट्स हैं जो बाउंड नहीं है और वो खुली हुई हैं बेसिकली दीज आर द अनबाउंड शीट्स ऑफ पेपर नाउ दो अनबाउंड शीट्स ऑफ पेपर आर नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स एंड हेंस एंट्री मेड इन दोज अनबाउंड इन दोज अनबाउंड शीट्स कैन नॉट बी कैन नॉट होल्ड अ पर्सन लाइबल द सेकेंड इज बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स बींग ओनली कोरोबरेटिव एविडेंस मस्ट बी सपोर्टेड बाई अदर एविडेंस तो यहाँ पर दो दिस सेक्शन स्टेट्स that the statement made in uh, that the statement or the entry made in books of accounts which are uh, made on regular basis in or in, in course of business are relevant but these are only corroborative evidence to hold a person liable other supportive evidences are required all right so this was mere corro- merely a corroborative evidence now coming on to section 35 ab section 34 mein humne discuss kiya ki books of accounts mein koi entry hai which is made in ordinary course of business then that would be relevant when the inquiry is initiated with regards to that matter theek hai tab wo relevant ho jayegi but only as a corroborative evidence theek hai now section 35 bolta hai relevancy of entry in public record or e record made in performance of duty so basically ye bolta hai ki koi bhi entry aap ya to uh, which is made in public or any official record or official book or official register or any other e record and this entry is made by a public servant in discharging his official duties or by any other person in performing such duties as enjoined by law then in that case it that entry becomes relevant ab koi bhi entry ya to kisi public public ya official record mein bana main de rahe hain ya fir kisi public ya official register mein ya fir kisi e record mein ya fir kisi official book mein agar aap koi entry pass karte hain and that entry is passed as a public servant while discharging official duty ठीक है या फिर एज अ पर्सन या फिर एज एज एनी अदर पर्सन हु इज एंजॉइंड बाय लॉ टू परफॉर्म स्पेसिफिक ड्यूटी देन इन दैट केस दैट एंट्री बिकम्स रेलिवेंट सपोज कि ट्रैफिक जैसे ट्रैफिक पुलिस है ठीक है ट्रैफिक पुलिस में जो भी कांस्टेबल जो भी पुलिस ऑफिसर्स वहां पे जो खड़े होते हैं सिग्नल्स पर सपोज उनको ड्यूटी दी है कि कोई चेक पोस्ट लगाया गया और उनको ड्यूटी दी है कि वो उनको एंट्री रिकॉर्ड करनी है कि कौन कौन व्हीकल्स उस रूट से पास हो रही है ठीक है वो नंबर्स कार गाड़ी के नंबर वो रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं नाउ दीज एंट्रीज मेड बाय द बाय दोज ट्रैफिक पुलिस ऑफिसर्स हु आर द हु आर स्टैंडिंग एट द सिग्नल दैट एंट्री इज मेड व्हाइल डिस्चार्जिंग द ही इज अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट एंड द एंट्री इज मेड व्हाइल डिस्चार्जिंग इज ऑफिशियल ड्यूटी सो दिस एंट्री इज रिलेवेंट टू शो दैट द फॉलोइंग कार्स हैव बीन पास फ्रॉम दिस रूट सो दैट एंट्री बिकम्स रिलेवेंट इन ऑर्डर टू प्रूव एनी फैक्ट इन इशू विद रिगार्ड्स टू कि कहां से व्हीकल कोई भी किसी भी इलीगल चीज का ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हो रहा था तो वो उस, उस रूट से पास हुई थी या नहीं सो so, उसको प्रूव करने के लिए वो एंट्री रेलेवेंट हो जाएगी सो दिस वाज अबाउट सेक्शन 35। नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू सेक्शन 36, जो कि इस वीडियो का लास्ट सेक्शन होगा तो सेक्शन 36 बताता है रेलेवेंसी ऑफ स्टेटमेंट इन मैप्स चार्ट और प्लान ठीक है तो बेसिकली कोई भी स्टेटमेंट एनी स्टेटमेंट विच इज एनी स्टेटमेंट इन फैक्ट इन इशू और रेलिवेंट फैक्ट इफ इट इज मेड इन पब्लिश मैप्स और चार्ट which are generally offered for public for sale those are considered as relevant suppose koi bhi statement aap ek ek koi si jo matlab koi koi map hai ya koi official chart hai jo bazar mein bikta hai jo market mein sale hota hai and jiski jo bazar mein bikta hai aur uski validity kabhi question nahi hui hai to koi bhi statement made in any official charts or any maps which are published then in that case that statement becomes relevant also if any statement with regards to any fact and issue or relevant fact if it is made in any map chart or plan made and it is made under the authority of central government or any state government as to the matters usually represented or stated in such documents theek hai so these are also relevant facts to kaun se fact relevant hote hain pehle wo jo maps aur charts ke andar jo jo statements diye gaye hain through some certain maps or charts and uh, 
through certain maps or charts and are generally offered for sale they, those are those are considered as relevant and also all those maps uh, all those statements which are made through any maps charts or plans under the authority of central government or state government then those are also considered as relevant facts so this was all about the section 36 ki wo sare facts jo kisi map or chart ke through uh, bataye ja rahe hain through uske through koi statements diya ja raha hai then those are considered as relevant facts this was a general understanding for section 36 this how this way we complete section 34 35 and 36 in this video in our next video we are going to talk about section 37 38 and 39 so till the time bye bye and take care and if you guys like the video then don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates thank you